Hey guys, welcome again to the Mask Club. If you are just joining us, so welcome. So to wrap up what we'll be doing on SOD, we're going to be looking at right past questions from the last 10 years, as is our custom in this club. If you've not seen any of the videos that we've done before this, I suggest that you go to the playlist that is in the description and start from the beginning. Let's get started. The first question is taken from 2023 and it says that we should simplify 3 root 12 plus 10 root 3 minus 6 over root 3. And we'll give you some options. So let's do it together. So we can write 3 root 12 as saying 3 roots. So 12, what are the things that we can multiply that can give us? So we have 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, 4. You know, we said we're going to keep on listing the things that can multiply until we reach a perfect square other than 1. So the perfect square that we have reached now is 4. So we can write this 12 by saying 4 times 3 plus 10 root 3 minus 6 over root 3. You know we said something about rationalizing the denominator. That when we have a root as denominator, it is not always nice. So we can rationalize this. How do we say we'll do that? Great. So I'll multiply both the top and the bottom by the denominator, which is root 3. So that'll be times root 3 over root 3. So this particular 3 square root of 4 times 3, can you remember we said we'll break it? Great. Because one of the laws of SOD is that if you have something like this, you can say, 3, let me take the 3 out, open brackets, I can break this to 2 and say square root of 4 times square root of 3. So plus 10 root 3 minus 6 times root 3 is 6 root 3. Root 3 times root 3, remember we said in the previous video that when you have these roots and they're multiplying themselves and they contain the same value inside or the same integer inside which is 3 and 3, the answer will just be the integer itself which is 3. And I can say 3 year 1, 3 year 2. Let's simplify. Square root of 4 is 2. So I could say 3, open brackets, 2 times root 3 plus 10 root 3 minus 2 root 3. And I can simplify this one and say 3 times, let the um, integer part, the whole number, then multiply them. So that will be 3 times 2, which is 6. So this is 6 root 3 plus 10 root 3 minus 2 root 3. 6 plus 10, that's 16 minus 2 that is 14 so that would be 14 root 3 so the answer from this simplification is 14 root 3 let's see if we're correct so from these options that should be option a great next question says that we should simplify 2 root 7 minus 14 over root 7 plus 7 over root 21 if you actually want to try these questions before you solve them you can just pause the video at any point and try it out and then compare our answers and our approach so let's solve this together. So when we're given this question, first thing I want to do is I want to resolve all these denominators. So we could say 2 root 7 minus 14 over root 7 times root 7 over root 7 plus 7 over root 21 times root 21 over root 21. So we know this would give us 2 root 7 minus 14 times root 7 is 14 root 7 and then root 7 times root 7 is what? 7 so plus 7 times root 21 is 7 root 21 root 21 times root 21 is 21 we've explained why so 7 year 1 7 year 2 7 year 1 7 year 3 so we could simplify this and say 2 root 7 minus 2 root 7 plus root 21 over 3 so from what i can see here you have two of something and then you've taken away two of that thing so this guy would give us zero so our interest here is just in this root 21 over 3 so our answer is root 21 over 3 but let's see if there's another way they put it inside the question maybe we might have to resolve this further okay so the options are actually in terms of root 21 so our answer was root 21 over 3 and that should be option c great so the next question says that given that root 3 plus root 5 over root 5 is equal to x plus y root 15, we should find the value of x plus y. Let's solve it together. So the first thing we're going to do here is rationalize the denominator. That is by saying root 3 plus root 5 all over root 5 times root 5 over root 5. So by the time we open up the brackets, so this is multiplication and this is 5. Root 3 times root 5, that will be the first thing that we're going to have. That will be root 3 times root 5 you can say I put inside the brackets plus 
root 5 times root 5 and that bracket that will be root 5 multiplying root 5 so all over when you have root 5 times root 5 that will give you what 5 based on what we've been doing so far so root 3 times root 5 is like saying root 3 times 5 plus root 5 times root 5 is what is 5 all over 5 so 3 times 5 in this place will give you square root of 15 plus 5 all over 5. And if we're going to rearrange it in the way that they gave us, you know, the um, x comes first and then the root 15 comes later. So I could break it and say 5 plus root 15 all over 5. And I could break this apart and say 5 over 5 plus root 15 over 5. The reason why we can be able to swap like this is because addition is commutative a plus b is same thing as b plus a so there's no issue 5 divided by 5 is 1 so 1 plus square root of 15 over 5 so that means our x is 1 and in our y is what is outside of this root 15 that is like saying 1 over 5 if we now do 1 plus 1 over 5 so x plus y which is what they said we should find in the question that will be 1 plus 1 over 5 and if i do the long this in I can say 1 over 1. 5 divided by 1 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So that would be 6 over 5. Or you could say 1 or number 1 over 5. Let's see which representation our objective question gives us. Okay, so that would be 1 or number 1 over 5. And that would be option C. The next question says that we should simplify 15 over root 75 plus root 108 plus root 4, 3, 2, and we should leave the answer in the form a root b, where a and b are positive integers. This is taken from 2019, right? So first things first is that we have to rationalize this denominator and then find a way of breaking down some of all these things, all these 108 and 4, 3, 2. Let's start rationalizing the denominator. So for the 15 over root 75 parts, I could just say times root 75 over root 75 and that's give us 15 roots 75 all over 75 and if you look at it 15 and 75 they can be divisible by themselves i think 15 year 1 15 year 5 that should be it and this will give you root 75 over 5 so that means that this first part we can replace it as saying our expression is now root 75 over 5 plus root 108 plus root 4, 3, 2. So now we have to now find things that we can be able to break up this 75 by. So if we say 75, maybe that will give us 1, 75. What else again can go? I think 3 should be able to go. So if I do, so that will be 3, 25, right? So we've gotten 25. 25 is a perfect square because 5 squared would give us 25. So we can replace that. So this is like saying square root of 25 times 3 all over 5 plus now let me give you a cheat code since all of the guys are going to be in the form a plus root b and this guy is 25 times 3 right you know that 25 is the one that i can find the square root of easily and say 5 so this one will turn to 5 root 3 because i'll bring the square root of 25 out and then i'll say 5 root 3 that means that all of them all of these guys they're all going to be expressed in terms of root 3 something root 3 so I don't need to start doing 1 comma 1 to 8, 2 comma this, 3 comma no. I already know that this guy will be something times 3. So if I do 1 to 8 divided by 3, can you see that gave me 36 times 3? 36 is a perfect square. So that will be plus square root of 36 times 3 plus so 4, 3, 2 divided by 3. This gave me 1, 4, 4. And 1, 4, 4, 2 is also a perfect square. So 1, 4, 4 times 3. This is just a small cheat code that can make your work faster. So if we resolve this, this is like saying square root of 25 times square root of 3 all over 5 plus square root of 36 times square root of 3. So then put this in brackets. Plus in brackets square root of 144 times square root of 3. So let's simplify. Square root of 25 is 5. So that is 5 times root 3 all over 5 plus square root of 36 is 6. So 6 times root 3 is 6 root 3 plus square root of 144 is 12 so that would be 12 root 3 5 will cancel 5 here right so this will be left with root 3 plus 6 root 3 plus 12 root 3 remember this is the theory question so you want to be as explicit as possible 
to the emulator, don't assume that the emulator should understand what you are doing. Be explicit as possible. So this is like 1 root 3 plus 6 root 3 plus 12 root 3. So 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 12 is 19. And I'll give you 19 root 3. So the answer from this guy here, when we simplify the of this guy, should be 19 root 3. Let's see if our answer is correct. Great. So 19 root 3. So now the next question says that we should simplify 10 root 3 all over root 5 minus root 15 all squared. Let's see how we're going to do that. I'd advise that you actually pause the video and try that as well first. Welcome back. So for us to simplify this first, we have to rationalize the denominator. So that will be 10 root 3 all over root 5 multiplied by root 5 over root 5. And this will be 10 times root 3 times root 5. Of course, I didn't know that this gives us root 15. But let me be explicit and say root 3 times 5 all over root 5 times root 5 would give me 5. So 5 year 1, 5 year 2. So this is 2 root 15. So I could bring it here and say 2 root 15 minus root 15 all squared. So this is like saying you have to have something. I won't take away one of that thing. And that will only give you one of that thing. That's like saying root 15 all squared. So root 15 times root 15 is what? Great. That is 15. And that's our answer here. Yeah. Simple as short. I think one of the most important things that you need to know about sort is rationalizing the denominator. Once you can know that, I think you'll be good. So from these options, our answer should be option B. Great. Next question says that if root 2 plus root 3 all over root 3 is simplified as m plus n root 6, find the value of n plus m or m plus n, either ways. So as always, we're going to rationalize the denominator and this will be root 2 plus root 3 all over root 3 multiplied by the top and bottom by root 3. Root 2 times root 3, so this will be root 2 times root 3 plus root 3 times root 3 all over root 3 times root 3 the bottom things so if i open up these brackets root 2 times root 3 is just basically root 6 i mean you could show you could show that's root 2 times 3 and then well, please so root 3 times root 3 is 3 all over root 3 times root 3 is also 3 so how they say we should express our, our answer they said express in terms of m plus n root 6 and find the value of m plus n so this is like saying 3 plus root 6 all over 3 just to be in line of the format they give us and that will be i could break it up and say this is like saying 3 over 3 plus root 6 over 3 3 will cancel 3 1 so what you have is 1 plus root 6 over 3 and if they say we should find m plus n so that means our m is equal to 1 and our n is equal to 1 over 3. So m plus n would now be equal to what? 1 plus 1 over 3. And that should be 4 over 3. Or we could just say, we could just join this two of them and say 1 over number 1 over 3. So I mean, just try it out to solve and see. But this is like a shortcut. So if I have 2 plus 1 over 3, it's basically just 2 over number 1 over 3. If I have 3 plus, if I have 3 plus 2 over 3, it's just like saying 3 or number 2 over 3. So as a shortcut, our value should be 1 or number 1 over 3. Let's see if we're correct. So that should be option C. Great. The next question says that we should simplify 3 root 75 minus 12 plus root 1 over 8 and leave the answer in sort form, that is, as radicals. Let's solve it together. So the first thing I know that for 75, I could say 1 comma 75 because 1 times 75 give me 75. I could also say 3, 25. So I found a perfect square other than 1, which is 25. So I'll stop here. For 12, I could say 1, 12. I could also say 3, 2, 6. No, I could also say 3, 4. So I found a perfect square apart from 1, which is 4. So it seems about 108. I would assume that this 108 is something times 3. So because our guy is 3 times 4, 3 times 25. So let's look at what's we can divide by 3. So 108 divided by 3. Can you see that is 36, 3. So, so 36 times 3 is actually what you actually need from this guy. So now let's replace all that we have been given. So that will be 3 roots 25 times 3 
minus roots 4 times 3 plus roots 36 times 3. So let me teach you one short score. Instead of you saying 3 open bracket, 25 times roots 3 minus, there's a short term me. Just see this 25, when you find the square root, it's going to give you 5, Abby. Bring it outside. That will be 3 times 5 roots 3. Minus, when you say roots 4, after you break it, that will give you 2. You don't need to bother yourself. Just bring that to our side. As soon as there is a 1, is that 1 times 2, that will be 2 roots 3. And then, this other guy, by the time you do roots 36, that will give you 6. Just bring that 6 outside. That will be 6 roots 3. So simplify this will give you 15 root 3 minus 2 root 3 plus 6 root 3. 15 minus 2 is 13. 13 plus 6 is 19. So that will be 19 root 3. So this should be our answer from this resolution of this particular question. Let's see if we're correct. 19 root 3. Great. So with this, we've looked at the bulk of the questions on swords that came out from Y. I think the major conclusion from this is that once you can know how to rationalize the denominator and then break down all these roots into smaller bits like saying root 25 times 3, I don't think you should have any problem with swords. So with this, we've come to the end of the topic on swords. I'll see you guys in the next video.